Greetings and Namaste. This is Shiva, your friendly neighborhood wellness philosopher and guide coming at you with the mission of wellness for all. Wellness for you, wellness for me, wellness for everyone and everything we touch. I figured I should, as part of my documenting the journey, also document how my journey has been producing some of these videos over the past almost close to a month now. So I think I officially released my first Wellness for All video on September 8th, 2020. And since that day, I have been putting out at least one video every day, save for the last day of September. September 30th, I think I took a breather, a pause, as I was transitioning to the current month of October and understanding how that might unfold. So here's, here's what I've learned and experienced along the way. I'd be happy to hear any suggestions for improving things, for making the mission have a greater impact, and without sacrificing the quality of my sleep too much. <laughs> All right, so first observation was I simply started putting videos out there. If I remember correctly, I think I got maybe a couple, three views, and I'm not even sure if those were like countable views because I'm not quite certain if YouTube notches up a view every time I personally view it or I view it from a different device or a different browser. So until I think views start going into at least double digits, I personally would be leery of marking it as you know, a marker of absolute progress. So um, as I kind of got more comfortable, which was the whole idea of doing the daily video challenge, I got more comfortable with just putting thoughts out there, you know, kind of like Mel Robbins' five second rule. You get the urge of a topic and you just get out there. Put it out there and I'm doing these raw just because I didn't want to take on the perfectionism and the added learning curve of production all by myself in addition to the challenge of putting out a video a day because that was the focus. Once I get to sort of a steady state or understand the lay of the land of what it takes to put out a video on on such a consistent basis, I mean there's not too many people doing that I don't think. Um, at least nothing, no content that's original that I've seen. You know, No, no one's putting a song out every day, no one's putting out um, their daily diary um, although I you know maybe should look that up and see if people are doing that but given that I'm trying to put out messages that are applicable for a broad range of people interested in furthering their wellness in some way shape or form I figured I need to concentrate on the content creator piece in me and then the other hats can come on later you know the editor the music producer the marketer, things of that nature. And as I started putting out these videos, I started enjoying the process. You know, I didn't have a target of, you know, like a structure coming in of I'm going to do these, 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 these topics in this order. It was more ad hoc-y um, and I would put out a wellness thought basically. And so that was good because it was definitely something I looked forward to most days. Some days, you know, I would be in a little bit of a funk and therefore the creative juices weren't supporting me and um, I would put off the video until later at night. And, and I kind of fell into that groove maybe past the halfway point in this exercise, so maybe about two weeks into it I, I found myself putting out videos later at night 
In terms of length, I, I was thinking I would do shorter videos. I mean, my first video was just over two minutes, I think. And it was more um, sort of a, a teaser, right? Wasn't even a video video, but it was a taste of things to come in a sense. And then videos generally where I would say I could probably run stats on this. I didn't, you know, um, not at this point because I've got other priorities um, in terms of spreading out. But I would say most videos were about, you know, between five and ten minutes in length. So not terribly long. And then as I, as I found, yeah, you know, I think I've gotten into the cadence of putting these videos out regularly. I figured it was time to um, put out videos in a more um, markety manner, right? So I was like, I need more subscribers. So at some point I need to start understanding which videos are liked and which which videos get comments and and how does that process work how can i interact with my audience so then i, I mustered up courage and um i i spread the word out on facebook on my own personal page and since since wellness is such a huge part of my life at this point in time i haven't even separated my personal page from my sort of official um, page because again kind of having this non-dual perspective on life of having this and notion you know work and play it's not work or play or work versus play and that type of thing work should be play and play should be work you know it's like why not why not have your cake and eat it too that's just um, the challenge that beckons me and, and something I don't see happening too often in, in the world that I'm in and so it's like, I'll take it upon myself to, to if not be the poster child for that, at least make things that much better, right? Um, where there's more integration rather than separation. But non-dual thoughts aside, um, I put it out on my Facebook page and whoop, you know, that's where my, I think I got my first spike in subscribers. I kind of, you know, said, you know, here's what I'm trying to do. And I kind of piggybacked on YouTube's um, criteria to have 100 subscribers to get a custom URL. So right now the URL is, you know, if anyone's starting out on YouTube like I am, um, really green and fresh in terms of how YouTube works. Um, the URL, the channel URL you get is basically... Uh Hi, sweetie. That's nice. That was Pranita, my daughter. God bless her. And I wanted to sort of understand the humble beginnings of things, right? Because I didn't want to go to a channel that already is doing great or tells a story in a very short amount of time. I was like, I want to document the journey. If people say it take it took five years for them to build those subscribers I want to kind of document those five years along the way for other people coming after me perhaps and who may find it useful and nothing else you know I, I would go back to those lessons myself and say ah those were the insights I got in week two am I still um, staying true to those are those still relevant and sort of use that as use that as a a reflection point a reflection on the reflection you know so first spike was me doing it on Facebook and which was kind of cool um, because I put it out there and like I said YouTube gives you this channel URL which is kind of like what you get on LinkedIn if, if you're familiar with LinkedIn um, you just get a, a randomly chosen URL which sort of matches your name URL and YouTube's are in YouTube's channel um, algorithm are completely just a, a randomly generated alphanumeric key um, which which is not memorable right so if someone wants to go to my channel they'll have to type like Shiva space s space mythal you know s is my middle initial and if they type it on YouTube chances are you know the top 10 will will hopefully show you my channel or a video that leads you to my channel 
but if you type like Shiva space Mittal, you might not get that um, as soon because then there's other Shiva Mittals out there. And uh, so if, if someone wants to simply go to my channel straight off, say, you know, YouTube slash channel slash Shiva is Mittal, that's not an option right now for me because YouTube says you need at least 100 subscribers. We're not giving out these URLs to anyone who jumps online and creates an account and wants their own URL. We're giving it to them to people who are actually being watched, you know, have subscribers, which makes sense, you know, sure. I mean, if, if every Shiva Mittal jumped on YouTube, uh, there won't be many Shiva Mittal URLs out there uh, available. Um, after a point, Shiva Mittals of the world will have to find a different way to... Um, to use things. Okay. Just one like it. Thank you, sure. Thanks. Thank you, this sweetheart. is for you, okay? Sure. Some That's a good enough reason for me to get out there, is it? you know, to both say, hey, I've started this new journey, support me, and I'm really, I'm looking for those 100 subscribers. But really, I think the cool part about this, and this sort of didn't, I mean, I connected the dots unconsciously, but consciously it became um, that whole thing about, hey, if the mission is my passion, what I believe in is, you know everything and everyone to be well and to be optimally healthy and enjoy life for all it has to offer and that doesn't go just for for me for you for our families for our friends for our communities our neighborhoods our countries our cities you know um, our societies but the planet as a whole and and going on from there you know the universe as a whole there's so much there's so much potential I was like if, if that's the mission 100 subscribers is a is a no-brainer, right? I want to impact thousands and ten thousands and millions and billions and you know as as many people as I can. Whether it's directly through my channel or through something that you know I have in some way supported through what I'm doing or people I collaborate with, whatever the case may be. So that's really really the case here. It's not about oh I'm gonna market and I'm gonna. You know, how am I going to grow the bottom line and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm, I'm not making a dime right now to YouTube. In fact, I'm obviously spending out of my pocket. And, and on that notion, I was like, hey, if, if people want to support me on this journey, um, this was another thing that came along the way. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a channel for that. So I, I put out my a Patreon account where, you know, they can, they can both subscribe to memberships and you know, support the journey for however long on sort of a monthly membership basis. Hi, I'm Pranita. Pora sa upar hoinge, baby? Can you sit up a little straight? Okay. So, that's Pranita. She's saying hi. She's, she might sit around for a little while and then she might go away because she's like the wind in our house. She kind of flits from place to place, baby. Sweetheart, careful. Things okay. are getting shaken around. So I, I was like, hey, 100 subscribers. Th that's, you know, at that point, I'm, I'm keeping it really short. Deva, you have to sit still. Otherwise, you have to go to the So 100 subscribers. I was like, that's, that's nothing. I mean, that's not where my wellness mission even begins to have the impact that I'm hoping to have so I'm just gonna just gonna go go with the hundred for now and then um, that's that's just the tip of the iceberg right so dream big you know aim for the stars and you or aim for the moon and you land among the stars type of deal so that was my deal from that point on quite empowering for me and Another thing I, I like to do is, as I put out these videos, is, is sort of just put some positive vibes out there, you know, as to this video going out there into the, 
the unlimitedness of the internet as it were let it help as many people as it can let it make that point zero 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 one percent difference in their wellness I'll be a happy camper you know good karma nothing else and that's perfectly okay for me um, thankfully my my financial um, strategy is such and my footprint is, is small enough that I can literally afford to do that and my aspirations are not economic in that sense not driven economically I mean I'd welcome the economic might because I think money can be used to move mountains as long as the mission is is in order and I would love to do that in a bigger way and leave a legacy and you know what not but this is what I can do right now and this is what I am doing right and um, so the patreon account was just another way to say okay if someone really feels strongly about this like I do kindred spirit could be a collaborator they have an option to to show their support in a in a material form you know they may not be able to help me with editing or producing or you know other parts of um, you know or carving out time in the day to do all of this stuff but maybe they can they can say okay we we believe in what you do we're supporting you you know good luck with the journey I think you're doing something more meaningful than a lot of people are you know so you might find references to you know pop culture and gossip and um, topics of the day but not too much because I'm very wellness centered um, I think there's more most of these things take take time away from wellness rather than contribute to it so other than the occasional joke or laugh um, it's probably gonna be wellness stuff you know um, things that give us deeper joy and meaning not just you know what's happening with the latest Bollywood or Hollywood celebrity or the latest controversy politically or um, things of that sort which which also limits um, by definition limits how many people I reach out to because a lot of people are just looking f for winding down with something that's that's a no that doesn't require deep thought and contemplation but again that's that's not my purpose here right I mean the shorter videos set that spark for the people that maybe start to consider that unconsciously and that's good enough for me and the longer videos are maybe for people who are are already self-motivated on the wellness track and hence they're putting in the time to maybe get some some more insights and share their experiences so that's really what's keeping me going in terms of social media I think uh, Facebook was probably the the most bang for buck in terms of spreading the word I did put this out on LinkedIn but I think LinkedIn is also again it's there's so much noise and there's so much content being put out unless you're like out there all the time 24 7 and all the channels in different ways um, which is kind of moving away that's kind of going into marketing overdrive rather than wellness based thing I'm trying to keep things a little more balanced and I'm on this you know the slow journey I'm not like the the hare trying to get ahead of everyone else I'm honoring the space I'm in and um, I'm in it for the long haul so LinkedIn wasn't as um, effective for me in fact uh, I have no clue if I, well I could probably look it up but I have a sense I got maybe next to nothing from LinkedIn in terms of interest because I think I got like a hundred plus views from about I don't know 1600 plus contacts I have versus like I said um, from Facebook I probably ended up at at, at 20 plus subscribers you know within the couple of days of putting out my post um, so and then over time you know um, my wife pitched in you know God bless her Gitanjali she shared that same post later on her Facebook page and eventually I think between that and, and some um, portion by my mom to some of her friends that she thought would benefit from from looking at my channel I think I eventually landed up at 60 plus subscribers this is a good number you know I think that's at 60 more people I was um, actively or passively spreading out the message of wellness to on a regular basis 
prior to starting the journey. So that's huge. You know, that's huge. That's a factor of 62. Not, now, granted, not all 62 or whatever are watching um, each and every video and acting upon, you know, some of the some of the seeds that I've sown in, some of the practices I'm sharing, some of the contemplation um, I'm urging. But they're there, right? And, and that's just that's just priceless I mean if if like I said even one person out of these 62 gets 0.0001% any given week even hey my I'm, I'm doing something that's that's making full use of technology and you know um, movement restrictions because of the pandemic and all of those things that that were also a a colluding factor in me going online in this way and I'm learning you know I'm learning how do you spread the message of wellness you know in, in given my um, heritage of you know having you know of, of being Indian to begin with born in India raised there having that culture deeply rooted inside of me but yet having a a very Western outlook on life just because of the period of time I was born in in that country when um, we were in that post-British phase and um, everything was shinier in the West. It's that peculiar blend of, of both cultures that that I enjoy and, and that what tells me is like this is not the times of yore where one can simply go from door to door um, preaching the message of wellness. Going door to door today means putting out content, you know, it means reaching out through technology. And while that was something I I shied away from in the initial phase of, you know, my, my re-careering into the wellness arena, because I wanted things to be very personal, very one-on-one, -on -one, very, very um, respectful of the energy space between a person, um, a client, a group, being taught yoga or Ayurveda or whatnot. At the same time, I I realized in the pandemic that that's not a big enough dream. The dream has to be bigger. It's not. It's not. I mean, I can choose how to put out my message in a way that resonates with me. But if I truly, truly want to impact a large multitude of people potentially and infect them with the wellness bug, as it were, then. I gotta get out of my comfort zone. I gotta take on some risk. I gotta take on that EMF, you know, that I'm, you know, avoiding. Um, and I gotta learn some stuff. I gotta learn some, um, some of the technical stuff that goes along with that whole journey. So, um, what lies ahead? Right. So we had those little subsite um, to sort of sum up. You know, took the big plunge, jumped off the cliff saying, I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm going to put out a YouTube video every day. Did good on that, right? Check. Um, didn't get no subscribers to begin with, but then I said, okay, I'm going to put myself out there and say, hey, support me. Ask for it. Ask the universe, you know, and let it decide. Did that, right? Check. Um, people, a couple of people, like I said, jumped in um, and give me that extra oomph and uh, now we're at that point where I have to think of different adjacencies I have to think of cross-pollination I have to think a little more of marketing I have to think a little more of production I just found the bug it doesn't bite but and, and it's a plant of bees but it doesn't bite oh yeah, they it doesn't that. bite Please, thank you, sweetheart. Um, so one of the things I've discovered or I reflected on in this journey was why did I choose YouTube, right? I could have gone Facebook, I could have gone Instagram, things of that nature. And... I think YouTube is like my go-to for videos a lot of the time as, as it is for most of the people watching this, right? It's like you go on YouTube, you search for a specific topic. You don't just 
go on YouTube to shoot the breeze. I mean, you do that, but that's probably the you know less less of the average YouTuber doing that than the you know the ones that really go out there regularly looking for the YouTube fix. Um, you know, whether it's gossip, entertainment, you know, whatever. How to screw on a light bulb. So I was like, yeah, that's that's in line with my message. I want people that are specifically looking for wellness, that are already in that in that general area, and now they're looking for different ways to increase wellness, bring more into their lives. And when I thought of adjacencies, um, Facebook was not a, an adjacency, right? So Facebook is something more social. It's like social, social media. I mean, YouTube has some social components, but not really. Go watch a video. Maybe you like it. Maybe you watch the whole thing. Maybe you put in a comment. But it's not very interactive, right? It's more you're receiving information. You're looking for information. You're researching, maybe. You're receiving information. Um, it's not a very interactive social thing. YouTube lives, I still have to go there. That's another thing on the list. So Facebook wasn't the same paradigm, right? You go in there for social stuff, interaction. What's your friend doing? What's that latest status update? What's the cause you want to support? You know, um, what's the event you're going to go to this weekend? Um, LinkedIn more professional. What's my branding looking like? You know, what, what are the other folks in my neck of the woods doing? Um, Instagram, you know, more visual and quick. Not, not, doesn't have room for a range of videos, you know, long and short. Twitter, you know, one liners, quick updates. So I was like, yeah, there's not really, I mean, Facebook's great for spreading the word. LinkedIn, not so much um, for my niche of wellness, unless I go completely corporate with that whole thing. Um, and you know insta yeah it could be a little inspirational thing you know inspiration of the day but not really educational which is sort of my niche you know wellness education let's educate ourselves let's learn from each other let's let's share those forgotten home remedies of our parents and grandparents and um, our cultures that are at risk of being forgotten or just drowning in a sea of home remedies without really having you know personal experience behind those so then I found Quora I had been on Quora before but not in any meaningful way and Quora was like the, the text version of um, what I'm doing on YouTube here is you go in there looking for an answer Quora is all about problem solving right it's 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 very narrow and it really appeals to um, the engineer in me because now someone's asking a very specific question you can go in there and attack it and I was like, yeah, there's this crossover here. And, and as far as I can tell, YouTube is the only social media site that Quora allows direct linking. So if you, you paste a YouTube URL in a Quora answer, it does show up with the, the thumbnail and everything. And I was like, huh. So this is happenstance, right? Again, I'm, I'm not, I didn't necessarily do my research like I normally would have done. You know, the engineer, Shiva the engineer would have done is like figure out the plan, do the research, and then go in there, um, full bore. This was more like learning as you go. And I just came across this synchronicity between Quora and YouTube. So that's the other thing I'm going to tap into going forward, at least for the month of October that we're in, is look at more of that. And so my the frequency of my videos might de decrease as I go a little more into research mode. So if that's a problem, do let me know. Um, we'll try to make something for that another thing um, I also looked up some other um, YouTube videos on just making a bigger impact one of the things was make longer videos just because that increases watch time gets gets more um, gets more of a captive audience for YouTube so I've got some things that are um, that are coming up that that I'm I'm hoping I can continue to engage you guys in um, like a, a question hour session is, is one of the ideas uh, question Q&A session um, partly driven by Quora um, partly driven by a live component put that out there maybe some longer videos too um, again uh, 
it's sort of a challenge for me. Can I do like half hour videos? It's kind of easy to do longer videos for me when I'm interviewed. Um, then you have someone doing that, but it's like, can I self interview? Can I, can I, you know, connect the dots from this to this, to this, to this, and yet keep it all within this realm of the same topic. So definitely some growth opportunities there for me, both, um, personally and in terms of what I'm sharing. So hopefully this video was useful um, for both upcoming YouTubers, um, for those that maybe get the, the courage to try some of this. I'm happy to um, talk more about this. You know, feel free to reach out to me one on one. If you have other strategies to share based on your own experiments in, in the past or currently, I would be more than happy to hear from them. I am a lazy thief. I would like to um, spread the message um, sooner and faster and bigger and better rather than anything less so on that note i i wish wellness for all and um and i thank you for giving me your also precious time namaste